insignia lot I required it on eBay. I'd say with most of the insignia in this particular lot, there really isn't anything that's attributable, even though there is a select group of insignia that I can tell is attributed to one particular veteran. So, this is the first piece of that group. So we can see that this guy was a Navy man. He received five good conduct medals. He served in the Pacific in Korea. This is a ribbon bar, presumably. So it's from California, and this is a 60s, uh, 60s or late 50s ribbon orientation. And we know it's that because also we got a star conduct on one of the ribbons. So this is probably actually early 50s, and then this is probably post-1957. But uh, he chose all brass ribbons, and these are just various brass ribbons that he chose to wear. But he did have some very nice insignia, so those are the first ribbons. We also have some of his medals, so we have his Naval Occupation Medal, his China Service Medal, and we have his World War II Victory Medal. And we also have a bunch of uh, U.S. Navy Chief Petty Officer insignia. So this is the first real insignia of the group, but this is not all the insignia. There's quite a lot more than this. So I'm going to scoot this insignia over and show you the rest of the insignia. The pants insignia is my favorite, not because they are necessarily rare, but they have some very nice insignia. So we got some 12 Marine Corps insignia. And we actually have two pairs, which is something kind of unique. Normally you don't see too much twill insignia. This is probably post-World War II. We got two pairs of the khaki. We have some technical sergeant insignia. And then we got a pair of the red chevron master sergeant insignia, which is quite nice. And then we also have eight-year service insignia, which is pretty neat. More items we have with the patches is we got some U.S. Navy patches. This is from the Constellation. This is 1961, but honestly, I don't think this patch is that old. It looks a lot newer. We got a USS Kitty Hawk patch. This is probably from the 90s or the 2000s. It's a bit... Uh, or be, uh, oh, f another item from the U.S. Navy group I've, that's probably a part of it is the Second Good Conduct Medal. Good Conduct Medal, so we got the uh, ribbon, and then we got the planchette itself, which is in very nice condition. Fortunately unidentified. This could also be a part of the group. This is uh, some ensign insignia. Uh, the Oakley's, this could be for a supply officer, or maybe even a uh, nurse, or some medical personnel. I'm not too sure. We also have some medals, so I'll show the medals. So these are all pretty recent. We got a U.S. Marine Corps Good Conduct Medal. We got an Expeditionary Forces Medal. We have a Metoria Service Medal. National Defense in Vietnam Medal. Broken clasp on the back. And another National Defense Medal. In regard to more modern insignia, we do have a bit of a bullion insignia. This is, in fact, a crew GI pair, probably from the 80s. We got an air assault badge. We also got this kind of pearl pocket knife here. And then mainly just loose insignia. We got a European ribbon. We got a good conduct metal label pin. Some major insignia, Apollo 11 memorial thing, or commemoration thing, a little pair of wings, some unknown music insignia. We also have this Colonel Insignia, which is probably off an Air Force flight suit. We got this uh, U.S. Navy, we got this Naval pin, which might be British, actually. We got some, this weird bicycle insignia. That's really about it. We do have a bag of some uh, 1960s U.S. Army officer, or just officer enlisted insignia. Some U.S. military Academy insignia. That's about it. We got a bunch of lieutenant insignia too, but all 70s and 80s. 
And then finally, we have this piece, which I really wasn't expecting. It's just a standard pocket knife, but uh, I will say it is interesting because if you expand it, let me look at the maker. It's uh, Remington, which is kind of unusual, and also with the age of it, it is very crude. And there's a lot of pitting all over the blade. So it's it's not really a nice piece, but it is an older piece. It does have rust damage, and uh, it's kind of cool to see a Remington item. Because our Remington stuff is very collectible. And uh, and this is definitely an older piece. So that's pretty neat. We also have another patch of the USS Campbell DG. So this is a 2000s patch. We have this weird Australia embroidered patch. It looks like it's a... Uh, it looks like it's supposed to be this U US Navy patch. Looks kind of, it's got that theater made style, but it's probably 90s, early 2000s. I don't know if it's even Navy. We got Northrop Grumman US Air Force patch, so probably early 2000s. And uh, that's really all the insignia in this group. So uh, I paid $70 for it. So I, I got a pretty good deal on this stuff. There's definitely a lot of valuable insignia in this lot. And I just wanted to do a uh, quick video going over it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.